します。All right, we are live. Oh man, I wish I didn't have my glasses on. Hi everyone. There's not many of us on yet. And hopefully it's not too loud here. Um, this is the first time that I'm using StreamYard by myself with just the, no, I'm talking to you. <laughs> uh, so this is the first time that I'm going on using StreamYard by myself. So hopefully the microphone is okay this time and it works out. Um, apologies, I'm not wearing makeup again, but yeah, I woke up. Woke up this morning, ready to go. I know, I didn't even get to talk to you about it. I woke up this morning, ready to go. I woke up, I set my alarm. Um, I was gonna do my makeup and like get ready for the day. And then my mom had called me, uh, unfortunately, to tell me some sad news that one of my great aunts had passed away. So I was talking with her and to me, that was more important than doing the makeup. So I got to do that. Um, and yeah, hi, Amanda. Good morning. I'm at work right now. So I woke up and got ready and I was listening to DJ C because I mod for him and there was um, nobody else modding. And I, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit sad with, you know, the fact that she did pass away um, because I haven't seen her in a long time. Um, but yeah. Um, it's a weird time because, you know, we don't get to hang out with our relatives as much as we would like to, you know, obviously she's older. So, you know, um, it was, uh, but you know what, I'm glad that she is in a better place. To be honest, I really didn't know what was too wrong with her, but I'll get more information, but hi girls. Hi, thanks for hanging. So this is something that I really wanted to do. Um, I work for a fabulous woman that I'm like so excited to like introduce you guys to. Uh, and I know it's kind of weird because usually I just come on and like hang out, we just chat, but we are gonna hang out and chat. I wanted to kind of introduce her to you guys because I feel like she's just uh, full of so much knowledge and information and about like everything as far as like health goes and whatnot. Um, so it's really, uh, she's very convenient because I always just like text her and ask her questions. <laughs> she's definitely helped me out a lot. Uh, so let's just, uh, I'm gonna introduce her in about five minutes or so. I kinda wanted to get a couple more of us on. But I just wanna say hi and good morning to everybody. Hi, DJ Leo Rock, Cassandra, Amanda, my mod up in here, Vettel, um, Kayleen, thank you guys, yeah. So yeah, so that's why, I mean, I know I don't have to explain myself. Hi, JJ. I know I don't have to explain myself why I'm not wearing makeup, but that's why. So I was planning to, but you know. And then the worst part out of all of this is I grabbed a donut to eat for breakfast and I left it. <laughs> Rama Rich. Yes, I'm gonna have this, um, oh, there's a lot of you guys on. I'm so happy to see you. <gasps> hey, Michelle. Yeah. So this is gonna be kind of interactive too. I'm gonna introduce you guys to my boss. Uh, I'll let I'll let you kind of give you a little bit of background too. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll get into it. So this is different than any of the streams that I've done, but you know it's something that I wanted to try. So what is gonna happen is um, basically we can see the chat, and okay. then any questions that I want to highlight for you, I'll click it, and then it'll pop up. All right, thank you. Hi, Alyssa. Yeah, so we're gonna talk about gut health. <laughs> and it sounds silly, but I wanted it to be intriguing to you guys because I think it's very important. And I think a lot of people um, may or may not be aware of all of that. So um, doctor's gonna fill us in and I'll let her kind of take over, all right? So right now it says there's like a 14 of us, but. It's really easy. It's just like chatting with people that you know. And they're all my <laughs> friends on here. So, and I have two moderators. So, if anyone wants to act stupid, then they're going to get banned. So, <laughs> yeah. So, just, um, you know, disclaimer obviously, as it's saying on the screen, uh, the information on the stream is not intended to be implied or in substitute for professional medical advice. Uh, 
diagnosis or treatment. So yes. Yes, Cassandra knows gut health is super important. She said it all starts there. Thank you, Cassandra. Yeah, well, and okay, so me, like I have my own questions too. Like, what should I be taking to help? What, you know, what things should I avoid in my diet to promote my and keep well in my gut and whatnot? Um, so she's gonna have lots and lots of stuff. Yes, got Amanda in here, got JJ in here. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So I'm gonna move the camera this way. Everyone say hi and be super nice to my boss. <laughs> I'm trying to get fired here. This is one of my bosses. Um, yeah, so it's very, it's very chill. Are you going to be together? Yeah. Oh, okay. You got your mask on. Yeah, I got my mask. To be safe well, let's here. do this way. Okay. And then we can interact. So yeah, Hi. why don't you tell everyone just a little bit of background, and then basically, I guess, like what your practice is focused on. Okay. So uh, I'm Dr. Melinda Chavarker. I'm a family nurse practitioner. Uh, I've been working for 18 years in family practice and have just opened a integrative uh, health uh, practice, which is focusing on sort of holistic health. And I know a lot of you have come, gone to your medical provider, whether it's a nurse practitioner or a physician. And sort of been in and out in 15 minutes and really haven't gotten all your, you know, questions answered or really a, a deeper understanding of how you can prevent, uh, prevent illness, um, you know, stay healthy, live longer, uh, you know, obviously prevent aging. And so I wanted to do something different where I could really talk to my patients for a long time and really give them a fuller understanding of um, how they can stay healthy. Or even if they have some issues, how can we deal with those in a more natural and holistic way? Uh, so it's a combination of sort of what our, you know, traditional herbal uh, medicines were like, and then what we're doing in conventional medicine, it's called integrative uh, medicine or integrative health. So that's um, something that we just started and Amanda's helping me, which has been great. Um, she's been such a great resource um, for me. And so we were talking and, and she was saying, wow, I have so many questions. And I thought, and I know a lot of people I know would have a lot of questions. And I thought, well, let's get on. Let's, let's talk about some, some things that will help others and, um, you know, of course, we want to encourage everybody to see their uh, medical specialist or provider. Um, but, uh, you know, this is some general advice or general health uh, information that you can take and then discuss with your, uh, your provider. Or come on in and see me. Awesome. Uh, let's see. I just want to welcome everyone else. I'm in my mask because you're being safe. Right, right, so I'm thanks. not wearing my mask, but now maybe I should. <laughs> so thank you for following Ibuprofen 112. Um, yeah, so we were kind of talking a little bit about an article that you had pointed out to me. So I don't know if you want to start there or if you yeah. want to just kind of go over some general stuff. What I would love for you guys to do is ask any questions that you have. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i sure I'm probably going to have questions, but... If you have any questions, um, I would love us to kind of focus on this topic. Um, I definitely know that I would like to know like what what specific foods or maybe even like telltale signs that I should look out for if maybe my gut is not as healthy as it needs to be and it should be. Um, so yeah, we'll just kind of go from there. And if we don't have any questions, that's totally fine. We just, this is our very first stream doing this, but I definitely want to continue with this. The beauty of it is, is incorporating, like you said, both like traditional medicines, which I'm very, very interested in herbs and supplements and those kind of things. So after this, I'm definitely going to take some um, like recommendations or just ask you guys what you would be interested in wanting to learn and know about. Um, and then hopefully we can kind of make this a regular thing because I think it would be definitely beneficial for all of us. We've been in music and, you know, my chats are silly and stuff, but at the same time, like I would love to use the platform for other things as well. So yeah, I'll let doctor get back into it. <clears throat> so I think, what was your question again? It was, um, what should you be eating and what signs you should be looking for? Yeah. Those are my two questions that I have. Yeah. So, you know, I think one thing for sure, we, 
I know a lot of us have gas, a lot of us have constipation, diarrhea every once in a while, but if this is something that's happening to you on a regular basis, you should really get it checked out. Um, I know uh, some dangerous signs can be like rectal bleeding, uh, severe constipation, severe diarrhea, or weight loss. I know we had, uh, it was big in the news, um, where uh, we lost a, a famous actor to colon cancer. And I think a lot of people have questions about gut health. And, you know, if, if I'm a young person, how do I make sure I don't have colon cancer? And we really don't screen people until they're 50 for colon cancer. Um, but, you know, certainly then the most important thing is if you're not feeling well, your gut is not uh, you're having a lot of these symptoms on a daily basis, then um, it's something that needs to be addressed. Uh, but rectal bleeding and, and severe constipation, weight loss, abdominal pain are, are signs um, that something more serious is happening. And, um, you know, why someone who's young is having colon cancer, um, you know, we don't really know. Uh, we, you know, it's happening more. We're, we're getting more cancers uh, when people are younger. And um, we really don't have good data on what that's caused by. It might be use of antibiotics, which are changing the microbiome. And we're going to talk about the microbiome in a minute. Um, it might be our, you know, we're exercising less, not eating enough vegetables. So you're asking, you know, what's, what are some things you should be eating to have good gut health? Well, we as a society in America are eating a lot of processed foods, which have a lot of chemicals in them that affect our gut, uh, a lot of sugars and refined sugars are obviously um, dangerous for our, our, our gut and our weight and, you know, can lead to diabetes. So sugary drinks, a lot of us are drinking sodas and, you know, even the ones that look like, you know, healthy drinks, like sports drinks, they have a lot of sugar in them. And so avoiding those kind of foods, processed foods, sugary drinks, and increasing our vegetables. We really just don't eat enough vegetables. And the uh, government used to tell us to do that pyramid. I think a lot of us learned the pyramid as mm -hmm. we were kids. And that got vamped because the bottom of the pyramid was carbs. And what we realized is we're all eating too many carbs and not eating enough vegetables. It was, I think, bread, rice, pasta, so many servings at the bottom of the pyramid. And <clears throat> excuse me, now we've moved to the plate method, which is half your plate should be vegetables and a quarter meat or protein and a quarter, um, uh, you know, carbs. And I would even argue if you have weight issues, you should be even eating less carbs. And there, maybe one of those, one of these days we'll talk about carbs and mm -hmm. fasting and things like that, because those are things that are going to improve your gut health as well. Yeah, I think right now there's so many trends uh, with diets also. And I think we're now as a society just so used to everything being so instant. So everyone just wants to look at the fastest way to lose weight. But I think at the end of the day, we have to also remember the healthiest way. Yeah. Um, you know, I know like keto is really big right now, but it's like you can't just do keto for one day and then stop. Mm -hmm. Like it's obviously not going to work right. that way. So Definitely um, something that would be interesting to look into as far as keto, like diets and Keto stuff. will probably improve your gut health. I mean, it will because you're looking at the way sugars are absorbed and um, really affecting your intestinal system. Okay. And what, we're, what I want to talk about was the microbiome, which is like a big word right now in the healthcare field. Um, the folks are there's a lot of research going on about the gut microbiome and the gut microbiome is um, uh, really the good bacteria in your gut that help reduce inflammation, mm -hmm. help with the workings of, of the gut. So a lot of folks are uh, asking, should I be on a probiotic? And I mean, I think that's a conversation you need to have with a care provider, but I know a lot of people are feeling better on probiotics or taking pre Biotics, which are, um, you know, high fiber foods that help with um, your digestive system. Okay. So JJ, who's actually a good friend of mine, she's a moderator for the channel. Basically, she 
make sure that everyone behaves on the channel. <laughs> she asks if fasting helps with that. So I, it does. I think, you know, we have to remember we're like a, a car. And so, you know, we, even a car needs a break, you know, every, every machine needs a break. We also need a break. And I think when we're eating and we're processing food all the time, um, fasting gives us a, a time to reset. Now, what what that means for you, and I think we need to do our next one on fasting, yeah. Um, it, because I know intermittent fasting and fasting is a huge topic. Um, but fasting will kind of reset your gut, and so it gives your time, your body time to rest and heal. Oh. Uh, so definitely, skipping a meal is not. I know we used to tell kids, don't ever skip breakfast, don't ever skip meals. But I think it will help you reset your gut and help uh, decrease the inflammation and help reset the microbiome. Oh, interesting. Awesome. Do you have any other questions going on? Um, no other questions, but um, uh, my best friend. Ah, okay, here's a good one. Do you think drinking large amounts of alcohol may cause harm to the gut biome and can cause inflammation over time? Yes. Thanks. Um, great Good question, question. ibuprofen, and uh, thank you for following. I see your new face <laughs> in the in the chat. Um, this is the first time we've actually done anything like this, so we appreciate uh, the interaction. Uh, yeah, I definitely think that uh, I know that alcohol is upsetting, definitely increasing inflammation. Again, alcohol is sugars, so it's not only disturbing uh, your stomach; it can increase acidity. It's going to uh, harm your gut microbiome and um, you know now a lot of people are saying there's no good number we used to tell people oh you could have a, a drink every day or you know and that's okay but um, because of the effects of alcohol on so many different systems in the body uh, I know there's a lot of young people on there and they're, <laughs> they're drinking on the weekends but um, really limiting alcohol is definitely going to improve your for sure improve your health yeah, so uh, I could probably say this for all of us. Our alcohol consumption, unfortunately, has increased because of the because pandemic. Of, yeah. We're home more often, and now we are finding ways of being social via Twitch. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, I know it's all fun and games, but at the end of the day, we also have to remember our health. We don't have to drink every single night. Um, and if so, just make sure that you're also balancing that with lots and plenty of water and I mean, that's a whole other conversation that we could get that's into. That's a whole other topic. I know. <laughs> so that's why I'm happy that we're starting this because, um, you know, there's so much that we could share. But as I've said before, and as well as what the screen does says, this isn't substituting any kind of, um, you know, yeah. professional medical care from your provider. But um, we'll definitely provide some information because we do telemarket or tele. Um, telehealth. Well, telehealth. Mm -hmm. And that's a big thing right now. And mm -hmm. even though we're located in the Bay Area, um, it is definitely, we're capable of providing that for you, for sure. Anybody in California. Yes. Somebody asked, um, so Trina asked about the fasting. Well, we can maybe touch base a little bit on that, but I have a feeling that maybe the next thing that we talk about, maybe even next week, we'll be talking about fasting. But thank you for the question, Trina. And welcome everyone. Hi, sister. My sister's in here right there. Hi, <laughs> Hi Alyssa. She's a moderator also. <laughs> um... So yeah, well, we can touch a little bit on that and maybe... I think it's really individual and we will talk about that next time. Uh, you know, I think uh, a lot of folks jump into fasting to improve gut health and you will see changes in your gut. Uh, the problem is, is that it's, you want to do something that's sustainable, that's something that um, is going to have a longer lasting impact. So fasting one time is probably not going to give you much of a of an impact. Uh, but we can talk more about it um, maybe next week or, yeah. or next time we get together and um, uh, and kind of go over some principles of fasting. And I, I want to say to folks, whenever you try anything new, uh, you know, you hear this about exercise or anything, you want to go slow. Uh, you know, go slow with any changes you make in your in your diet or health and see what the impact is and then go to the next level because you want to make those changes sustainable um you know whether it's you know you're going to the plate method on your food you know if you're used to used to eating half a half a plate of pasta going to half a plate of veggies is going to be a tough change and um you know we, we're posting some links on our website uh uh in our uh, if you follow us uh, follow me on uh, instagram and facebook 
this week, I think one of our coming week, one of our posts is on behavior change and a, a provider who is a doctor who's well known in the UK who's um, uh, posting on behavioral change and how you can make changes in five minutes. So um, look out for that. This is so awesome. Mm -hmm. There's 24 of us talking about this, you guys. This <laughs> is so cool. I'm so excited. I'm in my mask, but I do want to just uh, chime in real fast. So our website is there on the banner, lotusintegrativehealth.com. Um, we are on Instagram, Twitter, uh, pretty much every social media platform. Um, for those of you who follow me on Instagram and those who don't, please do. Uh, I will repost our Instagram and our website. And honestly, I know that like there's so much social media, but we try to post a lot of posts that are just helpful. Yes, you know, we use it for advertising, but that's one thing that I help with uh, is the social media. And it's, you know, reminders about things that we should be doing. Um, it's websites and articles that we would like to share with people. So if you guys could do me a big favor, I know there are 600 of you guys that follow me. If all 600 could follow the uh, the practice website, that would be amazing. Um, and I'll post that stuff actually on my Instagram because I think that'll be the easiest way to do so. I just wanted to uh, give a quick shout out to Nikki on Vegas. Hey girl, she said this is so legit. Thanks for coming in South Thank Africa you. as I see you. And then JJ uh, has another question for us. Thank you JJ for being so interactive with this. This is really helping us guide this conversation. Uh, everyone, and then everyone else says hi to each other because we're all hanging out. Hi everybody, uh, thanks so much for listening. <laughs> So I yeah, we can do something to help, you know, that's, that's always what I've been doing for, I've been in medical field for 23 years and I've always wanted to just help, help people. <laughs> Adobo Kitty says, I'm about to eat too. This is great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh, let us influence what, you, I know. what you've already chosen to eat. <laughs> Um, so yeah, oh, wow. so JJ, and then there was another question um, yeah. that we'll get to after. So if you yeah. want to just maybe touch base so on that. So I think things that really improve gut health are probiotics, which you mentioned right there. Um, you know, we have natural probiotics, which you can eat, which are sauerkraut, kimchi, oh. um, kombucha is one of my favorites. Kombucha has a little bit of alcohol in there, <laughs> but, but not much. Um, it's easily absorbed. Uh, yogurt is a great one. And I know dairy, some people talk a lot about eliminating dairy and wheat and wheat. I know a lot of you probably heard of celiac disease or wheat, wheat gluten intolerance. I know there's a huge push to remove glutens from people's diets. And the, the studies show that there's not that many people who have true celiac disease, but the gluten can mimic, um, uh, thyroid, some of the chemicals or I don't want to call them hormones, but proteins that are involved in thyroid health. And gluten has been shown to be inflammatory to the gut. So one of the first things I tell people when they come and see me is, you know, if you're having a lot of gut issues, try eliminating bread or wheat products for a month mm -hmm. and see if you have some changes that improve your health. And you can do that with any group. It's called an elimination diet. You can do that with any um, kind of uh, food group that you're worried that might be causing, like you've noticed, oh, when I eat cheese, I get a lot of gas. You can eliminate dairy and see if that helps. Now, of course, you want to substitute, like if you're relying on dairy for calcium, then you want to make sure that you're getting a lot of green veggies, uh, spinach, broccoli, things that have calcium in them. Uh, because you don't want to eliminate a food group and not have something to replace the nutrients in it. Uh, but gluten and dairy are, are sort of two big ones that I tell people if you're having a lot of symptoms, try eliminating them for a month, see if you feel better. And if you do, then you know that that might not be suiting you well. Uh, not everybody has uh, gluten issues or dairy issues. So um, no need to eliminate it if you feel fine on it. Um, but it is one of the, the preliminary things that um, I'll do in my practice. Awesome. So another question. I don't know if this pertains to gut health. BP, um, Mr. Is, but um, uh, juice cleansing. I guess maybe touch base on if that any so, help. In, yeah, I mean, some people do that. And I think my my concern with that, I think it's it's a great cleansing with juices, vegetable juices 
is a great and having some fruit in there is a great way we obviously don't want to overload your body with too much fruit but it's a great way to kind of keep getting nutrients and vitamins and it's almost like fasting right you're not getting very many calories but you are getting still getting vitamins and nutrients so if it feels good and you feel like i've done i've done juice fasting I don't know, Amanda, have you ever done any juice fasting? Or um, I have not. I know my sister has, um, but hers is a little bit more in depth. Yeah. Um, I have not, but I love fresh juice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've done, I've done juice fast for three days. Um, you know, you might, it just depends on your body and how you feel uh, and whether it worked for you or not. There's nothing harmful about it. I think it's very similar to fasting. Except if you're putting in a lot of fruit, you're getting a lot of sugar. So, okay. um, you know, you have to, and how much fruit you're using and how much sugar is in there is, an, is probably a component to fast, to juicing or, or juice fasting. Uh, another question. So I know we have, I mean, this is the first time we've done this and I already feel like wow, we need to make really this like, I know. we need to make people this like really a weekly thing. Um, oh, it's okay. Yeah. Math gone over here. Um, so, but uh, now that I know that you guys are like actually interested in interactive, this is, I would love for it to be more of like a topic based thing every week. Um, but we can just answer some like general questions again. So, some, somebody had a question. Yeah. About so, somebody, uh, so ibuprofen again. Turmeric and ginger are great for inflammation. Um, you know, you can use turmeric and ginger fresh or uh, ibuprofen 112 knows a lot, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, uh, turmeric is uh, a powerful anti-inflammatory. Interesting enough, my, my family's from India, and so we put a pinch of turmeric whenever we cook anything. And I asked my mom when I learned cooking a long time ago, why do we put turmeric in everything? And she's like, I don't know. It's just something that we do. And now we know why. I mean, when we look at our, you know, a lot of us are from different ethnic backgrounds. When we look at our cultural heritage, there were things that your grandma told you to eat, not eat. There were reasons for those things. And I think turmeric, it was one of those things for our culture where you put a pinch of turmeric in all your food. It's a powerful anti-inflammatory. In fact, one of the reasons we figured out turmeric, um, what it was doing in India is we don't see a lot of Alzheimer's in India. And they theorize that one of the reasons might be the foods that they're eating in India, uh, including the turmeric is, decreasing inflammation, especially, especially inflammation in the brain. And when we talk about good bacteria, there's also a link of good, the good bacteria, your gut microbiome is sending signals to your brain. So um, that inflammation, when you're inflamed in your gut is also being, um, is moving towards the rest of your body, including your brain. And there's some now connections between uh, research is showing connections between the gut microbiome and the brain and uh, chronic disease. Wow. And so this is sort of where somebody said, oh, the gut is, uh, is the base of everything. We, we really are starting to realize that it's not just the brain that's important or our most important organ, it's our intestines. And that might, it's because of the gut microbiome. So that's why we're talking about this today because you know, we want to make sure your gut's working, it's healthy, you're getting the nutrients you need because then that's connected to every other part of your body. And that's kind of the fault of modern medicine. We've really forgotten to connect the dots. We, you know, your, your, you know, what is it? Your hip bone is connected to your knee bone, is connected <laughs> to your ankle bone. Remember that song? Mm -hmm. It really is. Your brain is connected to your heart, is connected to your gut, is connected to everything else. And so we want to make sure that um that um you know that your gut's healthy and when your gut's healthy you're going to avoid a lot of chronic diseases um cancers there's a lot of us you know a lot of associations to so many diseases so you know improving having a gut um, by using veggies and fibers decrease cancer decrease chronic disease by decreasing inflammation for so for sure turmeric and ginger great questions Great for anti-inflammatory. Great to put in ginger is great to put in your food. Um, you know, there's turmeric is great to put in cook with. Um, some folks are taking turmeric, uh, you know, capsules. Um, so, yeah. Let's see if there's any other questions. Um, wow, people are just so awesome. I yeah. love it. I love it.
All right. right. Oh, right. actually, I had a question. Yeah. So I um, I posted. So you guys, I posted the link of our Instagram. Uh, if you guys could do me a big favor and follow us on Instagram, we post. Yes, we do post advertising for our for the practice, but we also post just a lot of all kinds of health things um, mental health sexual health women's health men's health um so it's we with some inspirational quotes and stuff um it's a nice little thing to add to your daily you know instagram i know we're all on um thank you jasmine we're all on twitter or excuse me twitch but um but we're on twitter too um yeah we're if you if you guys busy. don't mind just giving us a follow that'd be great um Definitely share, you know, a lot, repost the stuff that we post so that you can share. Or if you see something interesting, um, you can share that on your Instagram. Uh, we are are trying to build. So, you know, in this time right now, um, it's kind of hard for people. But if you guys wouldn't mind doing that, that would be awesome. Um, yes. Yeah, so BP, Mr. IZ, put, he, you like the turmeric capsules. So that's what I was going to ask. So I know I really like essential oils and I know that like, um, there's so many different kinds and you know, you obviously have to be careful and be, thank you PJ and be mindful of which companies and brands are buying because you want it to be as safe as you can. Um, but I think there's ginger and, um, turmeric essential oils now too. Yeah, and I mean, what's like, can, I guess, what's the best way to intake that? Is it food? Is it I mean, capsules? Is it supplements? For sure, whenever you're looking at nutrients, you want to eat them because okay. remember, whenever you're eating something, it comes with all these other compounds. You know, nature has created plants in their form with other compounds. So, whenever we look at even a vitamin, you know, when we say, oh, you know, you can take a for example, you know, when we tell, we will tell women with osteoporosis to take calcium. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, if you have calcium on board as a pill, is it better to have that versus take it in the food? It's always better to take it in the food because you're going to get other nutrients that help absorption. Okay. So we, we always want from a holistic perspective to um, encourage people to have food as their primary source of nutrition. Now, the problem is, is that because we're eating on the go, we're eating, you know, whatever, fast food or, you know, we're grabbing something, we're not getting all the nutrients we need. We tend to be really carb and protein heavy in our, in our country. And so most of our vitamins and minerals are going to come actually from vegetables, right? You're not going to get all of those you know, protein. Obviously, meat will have whatever that animal ingested. You're going to, you're going to get that. But your bread isn't going to give you, you know, from a burger, isn't going to give you a lot of vitamins and minerals. It's going to give you glucose, which your body's going to either use or store as fat. So, you know, having whole vegetables is the key way to get and to get anti-inflammatory. Um, uh, you know, ginger, turmeric, those are better in their whole form. But you know, if you're not getting that nutrition, and we do a nutritional analysis where we can help folks figure out where they're lacking in their nutrition and um, then we can give it for a short term in a supplement form and um, we in our practice have supplements that we um, use and they're medical grade pharmaceutical grade um, supplements for vitamins micronutrients and so that's sort of a secondary way to get those um, those uh, compounds awesome yeah that's just this conversation now, I feel like it's going to open a lot of, um, um, you know, topics and whatnot. Um, oh, okay. People have lots of questions going on here. Oh, okay. Perfect. Mamba City. Hi, Mamba City. Um, let's see. What? Oh. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, I, we're going to get to that question too, but uh, um, Mamba City is asking a question. Um, you... You recommend, you recommend a daily and vitamin. And I'm a big proponent of a daily vitamin. Um, most of what's going to happen, though, is if you're, especially if you're not getting a lot of fruits and vegetables in your diet, for sure. I think um, having a daily vitamin is not going to hurt a person as, as long as their kidneys are working fine. Uh, your body will absorb whatever it needs, and then whatever not, 
it will just you pee it out. Uh, and that's why you'll see some weird colored pee after you take a vitamin because your body's getting rid of the stuff that it just doesn't need. You're going to absorb what you need. And if your gut's not so healthy and you know, you get a lot of symptoms, we call them irritable bowel syndrome, where you have a lot of diarrhea, constipation, you know, gas, then you may not have a gut that really is able to absorb vitamins very well. And so that's another, that's another issue. So whether you take the vitamin yeah, you'll take the vitamin, but you might not get what you need. So fixing the gut microbiome and making sure you're not having an inflammatory uh, gut is important to even absorbing the nutrients you need from a vitamin. Awesome. Well, since we're on the vitamin topic, um, we'll go ahead and take another question from Ivy Cook. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's important to make up B12 if you're vegan. Um, B12 is primarily in animal products and um, so, you know, again, I would check with your provider because, you know, I don't know your history or, or um, what your background is, but B12 is over the counter and, um, you know, the, the best form is under the tongue uh, to take a B12 supplement. But again, you, you know, you can get tested for your B12 level when you go to your provider and see if, if you need B12. Um, and, and that's kind of a, a, the best way for any vitamins, too, is if you get an analysis. Of, and a lot of the regular conventional doctors aren't giving you a nutritional analysis. That's something that's kind of, you know, done more in an integrative health practice like ours. Uh, but it gives you a, a good idea of where your health is and what you're eating on a regular basis is giving you the nutrients you need. And I think that's a more effective way to determining what vitamins you need and what you don't. Is that some and is that something that we offer? <laughs> yeah, we do that. Yeah, yeah it's so, called a, a nutritional evaluation. So yeah. that is something that we do offer. It's a nutritional evaluation, and is it like lab work or? It's lab work. It's a blood draw. It's not covered on most insurances. That's the downside. Um, it's uh, it gives you an amazing analysis of all your macro and micronutrients. I have not seen a lab like this in my 18 years we don't order it in a regular family practice setting um, but it will give you a breakdown of all your vitamins and what you're missing and how you're producing energy from your food um, it's it's pretty pretty interesting uh, it, i did mine and and i just found out you know what i was deficient in and then i just take that as a vitamin so that um until i get up so if you are in the Bay Area and are interested in doing a nutritional evaluation, that's something that our practice does provide. Um, again, thank you guys for joining us. Wow, there's 35 people on. That's right. awesome. Cool. That's cool. Um, I just want to kind of shout out our social media platforms. We are on Instagram. We are on Facebook. We are on Twitter. Um, give us a follow. Again, we post a lot of stuff pertaining to health as far as mental health, sexual health, women's health, um, just, you know, we try to post things that are going to be something that people are actually interested in. And then, of course, we advertise as well, but you can definitely find out a lot about our practice. Um, so Vero105 is asking, are seasonal allergies linked to health? Yes, Vero, what a great question. It, um, they are? Yes, yes, wow. absolutely. Okay, so I didn't know about this, so take yes. notes, guys. Uh, one of the things that I did, uh, I've had allergies since I was a kid, and most of us do. I know for people who live in the Bay Area, uh, you know, both my kids have allergies. And one of the first things I ever did a couple of years ago, once I entered this field of integrative health, is eliminate dairy. And the first thing I noticed was I no longer had allergies. So dairy is an inflammatory, can be inflammatory for some folks in the gut. And um, it was one of the easiest things I did to, to eliminate my allergies. And I still get allergies here and there. I mean, obviously, um, the, um, you know, the pollen's not going anywhere. So if it's in really high levels, I'll still have a few, like a little bit of a, you know, itchiness in my eye. But um, I don't have the congestion. I don't have the sneezing uh, like I used to. So inflammation in the gut causes inflammation throughout, the, can lead to inflammation in other parts of the body and, wow. um, you know, can definitely make your, your allergies worse. So, you know, uh, you know, improving your gut health will improve your allergies. Wow. 
See, I never knew that. I, but you have told me about the dairy with my allergies because my allergies are so bad. Yeah. So yeah. that's interesting. Yeah. Um, B Bishy Bucky, welcome. Wants to know about wheat again. I think we kind of touched base on it, but yeah. Danny, thank you so much for gifting that sub. On so on here, you can give people subscriptions to your channel, oh. and you basically pay for some of these oh, nice. so. Um, thank you. Hey, Shipley Donuts Express. I was just talking about how I didn't eat my donut today. I'm really sad, but. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it's kind of good for this uh, talk I know, that you I didn't know. have a donut. <laughs> uh, so um, I'm sorry if I'm if pronouncing it wrong, Bish Bucky. I mean, I see you on Twitch, so hello. Uh, I feel like you say, ask PJ if he's joining the Robo Security. <laughs> hey, he can. He's pretty much our brother. So, um, yeah. Um, so we talked gonna, about wheat before. Yeah. yeah. So wheat, wheat has um, gluten, and gluten has been shown to be inflammatory in the gut. And Sometimes uh, when you remove wheat from your diet, bread, pasta, wheat products, um, you'll see a big change in your gut. And so I tell people, you know, try eliminating for a month, see how you feel, and then introduce it back in slow measures. So I eat about bread maybe one, one time a week, and that's kind of how I've noticed my uh, stabilized my gut health. And, and I don't do dairy. I don't drink milk anymore. Um, and uh, I'm eating a little bit of cheese. I'm a big fan of cheese. Oh, uh, it's hard to, it's hard. Mm -hmm. Cheese has a lot of, uh, interestingly enough, there was a study that cheese was very similar to narcotics. What? <laughs> the way it hits the brain. Wow, we're gonna have to look at that one because I could eat a whole brick of cheese. Yeah, like, it, it releases uh, good hormones in the brain. Oh, and so wow. that's why people eat cheese, yeah. So I used it a lot as a kid. I used to eat cheese as a kid a lot, which, um, you know, cheese has a lot of fat in it. Um, but uh, I think it was the stress of, because I was a, one of those students that wanted good grades. And mm -hmm. so um, so cheese is definitely um, hits the brain. Yeah. Whoa, I love cheese so much. So Bishy Bucky, said, she just said, uh, and I noticed when I cut wheat and dairy, I don't have a runny nose or sore throat. Yes. So yeah. A lot of folks uh, have, have had that. And if you still are having allergies after eliminating wheat and dairy, I think it really is important to do an allergy analysis. Um, we do allergy testing. Uh, you can get it through your primary care provider. Most of the time that's covered on insurance. If it's not, um, I have, I just connected to a company. I think it's a little less than $200, um, but we can post that information once I, I've just connected into the company and I've got to set up the account. Awesome. So I'm trying to get some lower cost allergy testing because once you figure out what you're allergic to and you eliminate that, you will feel a lot better. I did my allergy testing recently and I found out I'm allergic to shrimp. Had no idea. What? I've been eating shrimp this whole time. Wow. So, I do broken. Thank you so much for the sub. Um, and for being so interactive in the chat, I was actually going to sub you, <laughs> but thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so they wanted to ask, uh, do you see people that don't live in the Bay area? Anybody in California? Uh, I'm licensed in California. So, um, if you're outside of California, uh, I can do health coaching. Um, uh, but I am not able to do any diagnosis treatment or prescriptions. Um, the way our laws are set up in this country. That's why we had all these health, uh, with COVID, we had a lot of issues with providers going across state lines because we're all licensed by state. Oh, wow. So um, the government has set up some temporary with COVID um, guidelines where we could work uh, across state, but every state's so different. So if you're in California, no problem. We could do telemedicine and I can see you and, we can do all the testing, we can do prescriptions and all of that. If you're outside of California, just message me and, and we can we can do some coaching if you wanted some ideas or guidance, but um, can't really give you particular health advice for your situation. But um, there are things that you can do, right? Like wellness coaching. Right, so coaching outside of California, yes. So anybody who wants just general guidance like we're giving right now, you know, um, just general health advice. Amanda Cortez said, uh, you can be allergic and not know. I would cry if I was allergic to shrimp. I would cry if I was allergic to cheese. 
Uh, no, you know, said, but if you're allergic and it's not really something that's giving you a huge amount of reaction, mm -hmm. then really you're talking about, you know, if I eat shrimp once a month, I'm probably going to be fine. Okay. But if you're eating it all the time. That's true. It, then, you know, say suddenly you're on a trip and suddenly you're eating shrimp every day and didn't realize you're allergic. And suddenly you get sick and you don't even realize why you okay. got sick. It could be because you've eaten shrimp. So obviously if you're not having an overt reaction like a rash or anything, then you know, I wouldn't you wouldn't worry too much about it. But okay. it is nice to know what you're allergic to. Right. I, I think we just everybody's body's different. Right. Um awesome. yeah, I'm just gonna go and see if there's any, any other more. questions. I think that Anybody have any other questions pertaining to the topic that we're talking about? Um, Adobo Kitty has a question, and I think it has more uh, to do with um, allergies. So. So we can we can definitely get into more topics, guys. This is just um, this I is just one topic, no. and I am so excited. Like, um, I'm, I'm so excited for this because I'm hoping that we could get to know we can do more. Yeah. As far as different topics, and we can literally go on like so many different ways. Oh, there's so, so many different things to talk um, about. You know, maybe. And maybe I'm an expert in women's health. We should do a, a sexual health uh, topic. I think that one will probably get a lot more viewers too. <laughs> I, I don't really need it because I have no sexual activity whatsoever right now. <laughs> You've let that out on the. <laughs> Everyone knows. Everybody knows. But I think other things, I'm, yeah, pretty settled it for like a long time. I'm just joking. This is how it is. Everyone knows I'm single and I'm not. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, yeah. It's, it's good you're waiting for the right person. You're an amazing person. So. Aw, thanks. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I don't you have deserve any time someone special. To be playing games. Yeah. You guys all know that already. Yeah. Well, she deserves someone special. I've known her for a long time. Uh, um, so somebody had a question, right? Uh, let's see. Allergic to Adobo Kitty had asked about the oh the allergy. Sorry. Yeah. We were. Uh, oh, is it possible to train the immune system to get used to an allergen? I know allergists work on this. This isn't my area of specialty, but um, you can certainly talk to. I know folks who have cats and dogs, and they'll go to an allergist and get allergy shots and. Um, I know uh, that an allergist can help with that if that's something you're interested in. Um, can pregnancy change tolerance to allergies or rough digestion of cheese? Yes, absolutely. Pregnancy can change a lot of things in the body. In fact, I uh, also have a background of working with pregnant women. And um, the body changes because you're slightly immunosuppressed in pregnancy because you're carrying another human being in your body. And so it does change uh, your gut health changes, your allergies change, uh, you know, your food tolerances change. I know when I was uh, pregnant, I suddenly couldn't have spicy food. And honestly, I haven't really been able to eat a lot of spicy food since. So oh my God, uh, pregnancy can change a lot of things um, in the human body. Because I'm also like, I know you're, check, you're checking on your phone too. Everybody's really interested. I'm, I didn't know we'd get this much interest. I didn't know. I, I just know. I just threw it out to her. I said, I think I'm ready to go on your Twitch and talk. And here we are. And it's 48 minutes later. Yeah. And we still have That's all these awesome. people asking questions. Yeah. I love it. I'm just, and everybody's so intelligent and has such great questions. I love it. Thank you so much. We and, definitely built like yeah. a, a big community on Twitch. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of people who follow like on Instagram are like, what's Twitch? Like, what is she doing? But I'm literally just talking about everything. I mean, yeah, somebody we, said everything changed my second pregnancy. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're right, Middle. That's Yay, thank you. Um, is there uh if we don't have any other questions, I think we could go ahead and um uh close up for today. Up. But yeah. I would like um if you want to just let everyone know our information. Yeah. And so I'm at lotusintegrativehealth.com. We're based here in Campbell in the Bay Area. Uh, we're here on Thursdays. Uh, I'm available for telemedicine, telehealth, uh, Tuesdays and, and Thursdays. Um, right now we're, a, uh, you know, we're not taking any insurance right now. Um, it's just, we just started. So, uh, 
you know, we'd love your support. And uh, if you want any information uh, on, you know, health, general wellness, testing, um, you know, we also offer supplements and uh, just thinking about doing a promotion, right, on, on supplements. So mm -hmm. you might see that on our on our uh, uh, feed, social media feed uh, soon if, if any of you are interested in supplements, um, doing a quick visit for some for a prescription for supplements. I'm working with supplement companies. They're Metagenics and Orthomolecular. These are really good companies that create, actually create what you, you know, that's another topic we'll have to talk about. Stuff you buy over the counter doesn't always say it has what it has. So oh, wow. the things that we're giving here are prescriptions uh, for uh, supplements that actually have what they have. So um, yeah, reach out to us if you need anything. We're happy to help. Yeah, I mean, if this is something that's interesting to you guys, um, I mean, obviously you guys have been on this journey with me doing my uh, stream, and I'm so appreciative of, like, the feedback and stuff. I was just telling her yesterday that I was on my channel uh, tap dancing, like, super randomly, and it's just, you know, a way for us to reach out to everyone. And if I can help anyone in any way, then I would love for you guys to do the same with everyone else. Um, and so I figure, you know, bring in lots of different topics. And I think this is kind of how I'm growing my channel because I didn't have like an idea of what I wanted to do, but I enjoy talking to people. I love my Twitch community so much. Um, but if I could do stuff to help people, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, I know Nikki on and Nikki in Vegas was in here earlier. I'm going to be doing a chat with her soon. We're going to think of some um, ideas to do. If anyone's interested or anything would like to share anything on, on my, on my channel, Please reach out to me. It's been, it's getting easier as I learn. Um, and yeah, so we are super grateful that you guys joined us. Um, one thing I will say that, can you do telehealth for um, supplements? Yes. Coaching? Okay. Yeah. So that's so if anybody wants some coaching on what kind of vitamins to take. So I put my mask back on. We'll be, uh, <laughs> yes. Keep on your mask. Everybody wear your masks. Really important. Uh, we're looking at, I'm looking at doing a promotion if, uh, folks are interested for a 30 minute visit, um, to just discuss general health and, and be put on some vitamins and, and supplements. Um, nothing too fancy because most of the time it's nice to get the testing or the, the lab work, uh, before really choosing what kind of therapies. Um, natural therapies or if you need of course if anybody needs medical uh, care and prescriptions you know I do all of that as well so um, you know and all through telehealth yeah awesome well thank you so much thank you no I'm this excited. was fun yeah this I'm was excited fun. to continue I've never done anything like this this is fun she's amazing you guys um I've known her for a long time like oh my gosh for a really long time I think 10 years. Yeah. Almost, um, nine almost years, about 10 years. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end, but thank you guys so much. I appreciate your support. But if you guys could do me one big favor is follow us on Instagram. Uh, it's Lotus I H N on Instagram. Um, I'm going to repost it on my Instagram also. So you guys could follow. Um, and I think that's it. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you, Jasmine. This is the this is the link if you guys would like to follow us. Thank you for joining us. Um, and I'll probably thank you so much, Ibuprofen. No, thank you for being so interactive with the chat. Um, oh, thank you so much. We hope that you will join us again. Maybe it'll be every other Thursday or every Thursday yeah. uh, if you guys are interested. And um, yeah, so please follow us on Instagram. We're trying to build our Instagram. So if you guys could just do me that big favor, that'd be awesome. Um, all right. Well, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the chat soon. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.